So what exactly is digital curation? Digital curation is the long-term management and preservation of digital data. Gone are the days of heading to the local library to peruse encyclopedias to gain information and content. With today's technology embedded into the palm of our hands, in mere seconds we can educate ourselves using digital sources. However, due to such a vast array of sources available, not all information on the internet is true and correct. Being a digital curator means you actively participate in technological culture, meaning you are able to archive, annotate and recirculate data in a public domain. How many times a day do you hear your peers say, Oh, I saw that on the internet. As educators, it is our job to ensure that the information seen on the internet by our students is translatable to a fact or reliable source. While it is easy to access information, we must understand that it is just as easy to create an online resource full of unreliable information and share it in a public domain. As an educator, there are a large variety of digital curation tools available. Tools such as Pinterest, Scoopit, and Storyfy are fast becoming popular in classroom settings. Students are being challenged, learning to evaluate and analyze content and master critical thinking skills. When moving into a workplace setting, digital curation tools are used more and more for ongoing learning and self-learning guides. Overall, the importance of being a digital curator is to add a level of quality control. Flintoff shares that it is vital to filter the less important information and allow the quality material to surface to the top. Thusly, as educators, we must model proper use of these curation tools when exploring and gathering information via online sources.